Hello, in this video we're going to do some sample test questions that deal with supply and demand graphs. This will be part one. Here's our supply and demand graph. What could cause the demand curve to shift from D1 to D2 in the figure? Here are the answer choices. An increase in income for a normal good, an increase in the number of consumers, a decrease in the price of a complement good, an increase in the price of a substitute good, or E, all answers are correct. So the correct answer here is going to be E, all answers are correct. So an increase in income for a normal good shifts the demand curve to the right. If there's an increase in the population or the number of consumers, demand shifts right. A decrease in the price of a complement good. So if the price of hot dogs falls, the demand for hot dog buns shifts right an increase in the price of a substitute good. So for example, if the price of beef increases, the demand for chicken shifts right. So all answers are going to be correct. Moving on. In the market for bottled water, a hurricane causes demand to increase from D1 to D2. If the government has anti-price gouging laws that prevent the price from rising above pre-hurricane levels, what happens in the market. So the pre-hurricane price is going to be $5. And if demand shifts right, now from D1 to D2, what's going to happen in the market? Well, this first answer choice is correct. There would be a shortage of bottled water. The quantity demanded would be 7, and that would exceed the quantity supplied, read off, read off this upward sloping supply curve of 5. So answer choice A is correct. Answer choice B is not correct. Sellers would not be able to sell all their bottled water. No, sellers would sell all of their bottled water, and there'd be many consumers wanting to buy more. Answer choice C is correct. The quantity demanded of bottled water would exceed the quantity supplied. As I explained earlier, it would be the quantity demanded would be seven, and the quantity supplied would be five for a shortage of two. Correct answer again is D. Moving on. What could cause the movement displayed in the figure? Okay, so for the answer, uh, answer choice A is incorrect. If the price of good decreased, we'd just move along a demand curve. Here we have the entire demand curve shifting right, or the entire relationship between price and quantity demanded changing. So answer choice A is incorrect. The consumer is expecting higher future prices. That would be true if the consumers expected a higher future price in this market. Consumers may try to beat the price increase by, boy, by buying more today, so demand shifts right today. The price of a substitute good increased, and as I explained earlier, that would be correct. So the answer choice here is D, B, and C are correct. Question four. With the demand curve at D1, the equilibrium price is blank and the equilibrium quantity is blank. So finding where the demand curve intersects the supply curve, locating the equilibrium price, locating the equilibrium quantity. Looks like we got an equilibrium price of $5 and an equilibrium quantity of 5. Answer choice A. Okay, question 5. What happens at a price of $4? So here's our $4, what's going on in the market at a price of $4? Is there an excess supply of two units? Is there a shortage of two units? Is there an excess demand of four units? Is there a shortage of six units? Okay, so for the answer, anytime the price is below the equilibrium price, we're going to be dealing with a shortage or excess demand, so we can eliminate answer choice A. There's not a surplus or excess supply. Let's look at Question, uh, answer choice B, there's a shortage of two units at a price of $4. Reading off the supply curve, quantity supplied is four. At a price of $4, reading off the demand curve, quantity demanded is six. So quantity demanded exceeds quantity supplied by two units. So yes, there is a shortage of two units. That is correct. The other answer choices are then incorrect. Answer choice B. Question six, 
Similar question, but this time what happens at a price of $6? Do we have an excess supply, a shortage? How much is that shortage or excess supply? Anytime the price exceeds the equilibrium price, equilibrium price being $5, anytime the price exceeds the equilibrium price, we're going to have an excess supply or surplus. So we can eliminate answer choice B. What is the size of the surplus? Well, at $6, quantity demanded. Reading off the demand curve is 4. At a price of $6, reading off the supply curve, quantity supplied is 6. So quantity supplied exceeds quantity demanded by 2 units, 6 minus 4. The correct answer then is A. Which of the following statements are true? So let's take these one at a time. At a price of $2, quantity demanded exceeds quantity supplied. So this $2 is below the equilibrium price. So yes, quantity demanded here would be 8, and that exceeds a quantity supplied of 2. So that is indeed correct. At a price of $3, quantity supplied is 3 units. Here's $3. Quantity supplied, yes, is 3 units. Quantity demanded is 7 units. Okay, at $3 going to the demand curve, coming down, yes, the quantity is 7, so statement 2 is correct. And what about the third statement? A decrease in supply would cause the equilibrium price to rise above $5. So if the supply curve shifted to the left, our new equilibrium, our new intersection where supply intersects demand, would occur at a price above $5. So all of these statements are correct. Answer choice D. Question 8. Suppose the figure depicts an inferior good. What could cause the movement from D1 to D2? Here are the answer choices. And now to get the correct answer, we can eliminate answer choice A. An increase in production uh, input prices for the good would cause a decrease in supply. So we don't have that going on in this diagram. A decrease in the price of a substitute good. No, that would cause a decrease in demand. A decrease in income. That is correct. A decrease in income for an inferior good causes demand to increase. And answer choice D, consumers learning that the consumption of the product causes cataracts. No, that would cause consumers' taste to become more negative towards the product and demand would decrease. So the correct answer choice here would be C. Number nine, the decrease in demand causes equilibrium price to fall from blank to blank. So before the decrease in demand, it looks like our equilibrium price here is at $10, where demand intersects supply. At our new demand curve, D2, where the demand curve intersects supply, that occurs at a price of $6. So answer choice A is correct. Which of the following statements are true? Got three statements here. Let's take each statement separately. Statement one, the decrease in demand caused the equilibrium quantity to fall from six to four. That indeed is true. Equilibrium quantity here originally is six. The new equilibrium quantity where demand two intersects the supply curve is now at four. So that is, statement one is true. A decrease in income for a normal good, an increase in income for an inferior good, or a decrease in the price of a substitute good could cause the demand curve to shift from D1 to D2. That is all correct. So all of those things listed in statement two cause a decrease in demand. And finally, statement three, the decrease in demand caused a decrease in supply. That's somewhat tricky, but that is false. The supply curve did not shift leftwards. It did not decrease. We just had a decrease in the quantity supplied. We just moved down and along the supply curve. So the correct answer here is going to be A to statement 1 and 2. Question 11, which of the following language describes the figure? 
Okay, so now for the answer, let's take answer choice A. The increase in demand caused the price to rise, which caused an increase in the quantity supplied. That is the correct language that describes this diagram. Answer choice B, C, and D are incorrect. The increase in demand caused the price to rise, which caused an increase in supply. No, the supply curve did not shift right, so we did not have an increase in supply in this diagram. We have an increase in the quantity supplied. Answer choice A. When the demand changes from D1 to D2, consumers are willing to buy blank more units of the good at any given price. Our answer choices. So if notice here at a price of $8, with the old demand, consumers are willing to buy two units. With the new higher demand or increased demand, consumers are willing to buy four units, a two unit increase. Notice here at a price of $7, with the old demand, consumers would like to buy three. With the new higher demand, read off a D2, consumers would like to buy two more units or five. So the correct answer here is gonna be C, two more units of the good at any given price. What could cause the movement from D1 to D2? So here we're looking at a leftward shift to the demand curve or decrease in demand. Some possible choices, answer choices. What could do that? Let's start with answer choice A, a decrease in the population. That is correct. Consumers expecting lower future prices. So if you expect the price to be lower in the future, why buy as much today? So demand would decrease today. So that would be correct. An increase in the price of a complement good, that would be correct. Okay, so if playing golf becomes more expensive, the demand for golf balls could decrease, shift left, as displayed in this diagram. Uh, consumers learn consuming the product is bad for their health. That is correct. So it looks like all these statements are correct. So we're going to choose answer choice E. Okay, that's it.